Lately in my videos, I have been mentioning Stephen Covey's enemy-centered paradigm, what he calls that, versus what he calls principle-centered paradigm. And like the name suggests, that's exactly how they're centered. When you're in enemy-centered paradigm, you're always thinking about your enemies. Whereas if you're in a principle-centered paradigm, you're thinking about your friends. Now it's interesting to point out, and very important to point out, I believe, is some people are going to have parts of these paradigms dominated at different times. They're competing for a person's attention. And one struggle in me has been the fight between the principle-centered and the enemy-centered paradigm. One of the most important differences is the role of truth. Truth is a principle. It's a very important principle. When it's the guiding force behind your life, it's going to be an exciting life. The philosopher Descartes recommended that an individual do a total and complete searching for truth. They tear down every single foundation, he suggested. You go to the very, very core, and it's quite an intense struggle. A principle-centered paradigm can lead you in that direction because you're constantly reevaluating, rethinking, and examining your life. You find new evidence and you make changes. Whereas if you have an enemy-centered paradigm, you may sacrifice truth. What if truth says your enemy's not that bad? The Dalai Lama suggested, for example, when you have a truthful vision, you're going to realize that no enemy is going to be 100% bad. Therefore, if you have an enemy-centered paradigm, you are predisposed to making your enemy be as bad as possible. Therefore, you're going to be necessarily sacrificing truth. And the good thing is, when you pursue truth, you are not going to necessarily always win friends. You will likely offend people. All the people who have stood up for truth in history have offended people. But the main aim is not to offend. It's a consequence you will accept. I am now preferring to avoid offending people if I can. I'm not going to avoid it if necessary. In my past days, I may have been looking for the conflict and got a thrill out of offending people for its own sake. But now, I'm willing to offend if necessary to do what's right, to stand up for truth, but not just to offend. The truth is something a lot of people don't like, so they're going to oppose it. But when you're focused on the truth, you may get people to accept it, or they may oppose it. Truth is paramount, and it's a great focus of principles.